Welcome back. We are hoping for our temperatures to be cooling down. Meanwhile, the tropics heating up. That's right. We're entering the peak time of hurricane season. September 10th is the, the peak day, so only a couple days off now. And I'd say the Atlantic Basin is certainly living up to that. We'll check it all out in just a few moments. But first, a live look over downtown where we have a fair amount of clouds out there, but not as much as we saw yesterday. That's allowed temperatures to warm up a bit more. 88 now in Macon, 87 in Warner Robins. Still hanging on to 79 in Monticello, 88 now in Hancock County, 86 in Wrightsville, 86 in Vidalia, and 87 in McRae. Across the southeast, some showers back into Mississippi. Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky. That is part of a cold front that is continuing to slide down to the south. Now that cold front is going to make it here by the time we get to tomorrow. So through the day today, going to remain mainly dry. A couple of clouds tomorrow morning, a mix of 60s and 70s. Then we begin to see some shower activity fire up through the morning hours, but then even more so through the afternoon as the front begins to push in. Some heavier storms could be possible across central Georgia as well. That's 6 p.m. there. Play this forward into the night. The front still trying to push through, but it's really going to stall out, and that's just going to provide a boundary beginning Sunday morning and really lasting through or excuse me Friday morning lasting through Friday afternoon for the potential for some showers and storms across central Georgia. So I kept a 20 to 30% chance of rain there on Friday. Now we are continuing to track tropical storm Lee. We got the 11 a.m. advisory in on this about an hour ago. Notice this now winds now to 70 miles an hour, so it's just shy of hurricane status. That means we went from tropical depression 13 to almost hurricane Lee in about 24 hours. And the plan is for this still to become a major hurricane as it works its way through the Atlantic into just north of the Caribbean. By the time we get to Sunday morning at 8 a.m., a category four not far away from Puerto Rico. And you're looking at this cone and you're thinking, all right, Alex, that's pointed towards the southeast. Well, it is, but I do think it has a very good chance of making a turn towards the north. So what's going to happen is we've got a trough of low pressure up in the northeastern United States and an area of high pressure out over the Atlantic. And this storm is going to go in between the two. It's just a question of where that turn happens. Now, if it's closer to the coast, that means we've got a weaker trough and a stronger high pressure to just push it towards us a bit more. Conversely, if it stays closer to Bermuda out to sea, that means the trough is going to be a bit stronger and the high pressure is going to be a bit weaker. But Notice neither of those scenarios pull it into the southeastern United States, so I don't think we need to be worried about it, at least as of now. Of course, things are subject to change, and if anything does, we will bring you the updates right here on 13 WMAZ. All right, let's check out the hour by hour temperatures for this afternoon. We are borderline in the 90s now. That's where we're going to spend most of the day at 92, 91. I think we top off at 94. Partly cloudy, more sun than yesterday. Winds out of the west northwest at about 5 to 10. So I got 91 in Forsyth, 92 in Warner Robins, 93 in Milledgeville, 94 here in Macon, as well as in Vidalia, 93 in Montezuma, and 91 in Rochelle for this Wednesday afternoon. Short and work week comes to an end on Friday. 91, the high there. Rain chances pick up tomorrow with this front pushing in. And then for the weekend, and I did keep the chance of storms around as temperatures continue to fall down to 88 on Sunday. Then into next week, 90 for Monday and Tuesday, but the writing is on the wall for potentially a stronger cold front to push in here for the middle part of next week. That would drop our temperatures to highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s.